What's up, YouTube? We got Brian from a Quest Accepted here doing a little DIY today. Uh, Diana's behind the camera. She might be on here. If not, it's just me today. Solo Quest, all right? So what we're gonna be doing today is we are going to be making a little mini green screen because we're doing a video and we need it. So this is an excuse to show you guys how to do a DIY green screen if you didn't know. Um, obviously we have green screens you've seen in the past with the backdrops and the things, but we want like a, our goal, our vision is to have a little screen, if you will, a TV sized green screen that we can just do our thing and talk and then we can throw things up on that green screen and edit just that block rather than the whole backdrop. So that's what we're making today. So uh, I guess let's get started with it. So first things first, we're gonna use some wood here. All right, this isn't probably gonna be a professional status green screen, but it's gonna work, damn it. So we're actually recording right now in Diana's new place. So uh, videos upcoming of stuff from that, but we're in there right now. And this is a scrap from when we had to replace some subfloor. So we're just gonna kind of make it a nice even rectangle. Why did, why did we replace the floor? Because floor, bad floor, bad, good floor, good. Insert clip. <laughs> If you don't know what I'm talking about, you will later. Anyways, so uh, anyway, so we're doing the, the subfloor here, and uh, we got this piece of wood. We've got some fabric, and we've got two types of fabric. We've got a thicker fleece, so that we can just kind of cover the whole thing, and then we're gonna do the actual green screen fabric over the top of it. We didn't want to do just the green screen fabric because we thought maybe the wood might kind of snag it and cut a hole in it and poke out so here we have the nice fleece around it first and it'll kind of create a nice soft body and then the green screen fabric on top so anyways it's it's pretty simple that's all we're going to be doing so uh i guess we're going to go ahead and get this measured out and then we'll uh we'll cut her down so a lot of this is very like elementary rudimentary work like it's it's really easy stuff you mean this is an advanced level carpentry not even a little bit it's you know, i'm basically cutting a board everybody can do this but this is what we're doing all right so this is a scrap piece, so I'm not really measuring. In fact, I think it's already chalked out and everything where it needs to be, but we're just gonna measure it real quick here. Um, you've got just about just just about 26 inches on both sides. We're looking at, uh, it's like 25 and 15 sixteenths. And that's about where we are on both sides of it. So anyways, uh, so this is already done. So we're just gonna kind of do leave it the way it is and it's pretty much cut off the end and go from there but you know just cut it the way you want to do if you're making this at home you're learning how to make this right now decide what you want to do we were imagining like a medium sized tv if you will flat screen so that's pretty much what this size is so we're just going to kind of go with it it's a pretty lucky we just got a scrap sitting around with this exact size so anyways um normally what you would do in this case is you would you know bring out your measure and you get your tools and you'd mark it and you'd mark it and then you'd make a line and chalk line and use your speed square if you got one to do things but like i said it's actually already been done on this piece of wood so now we just uh need to cut it i suppose all right, so before we continue any further, I'm playing with power tools. So that means you should wear PPE, or personal protective equipment, all right? Safety meeting. So I've got my gloves here. Trucks, brah. <laughs> I've got my gloves here to protect my hands so that when I chop my finger off, it cuts the glove too and ruins the glove. <laughs> and uh, I've got my eyewear so that I can't see properly <laughs> while I'm cutting, so I'm blinded, and then, you know. <laughs> I'm kidding. If I was actually doing this off camera, I probably wouldn't have these things <gasps> on. But you gotta be safe out there, guys, all right? So keep your things on, be safe, okay? So now, um, in my case, I've already got this pretty much where it needs to be, but if you've got it all figured out, get your measurements, double measure you know measure twice cut once so once you've got your piece set out all you gotta do is cut it so um, here got myself a nice little skill saw um, this is probably what I would recommend to use to cut it you don't want to use a sawzall or something silly but I guess use what you got if you got a hand saw use your hand saw probably not a good idea but do it anyway all right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut my saw I got my, my fun laser there you see that my laser lines up with where I need to cut. Isn't that nifty? All 
All right, so now we've got our piece of wood cut. Um, again, I'm dealing with a scrap, so my rectangle is not perfect. We're off by, I think, 3 16 on one side to the next. But again, this is a scrap piece of wood. I don't want to cut up one of my big pieces of wood because we still need that for the floor, all right? So if it's not perfect and you can tell, I don't care, all right? You probably can't tell. So now that we've got this rectangle all cut out, we've got our anti-pill fleece. Um, so speaking of which, this piece of wood, we got a four by eight sheet. I think it was $17 for the sheet. So you don't have to necessarily get this type of wood, but um, that's that. And this fleece here we got at the Walmart for I think $6.88, something along those lines. And uh, these were, what were these, like 20, 75 cents each or something? 97, something like that. They were under a dollar. They're fat quarters for quilting. Yeah, and they're uh, 18 inches by 21 inches for both of them, and they were like a dollar each. So, and our fleece fabric is one and a half yard. It's 54 inches by 60 inches. So, at this point, we're going to essentially clear off the table here, and then I'm going to uh, you know, lay this lay this out and put the board over the top of it. So it's got a nice soft surface so that way that the board is not gonna like you know like I said we're just doing this is it's probably overkill but I just we did this before with a video for a green screen and the wood edges and stuff over time kind of cut the fabric so we think if we do the, the fleece underneath it the fleece will protect the actual green screen fabric so anyways let's get this figured out here so now at this point we're just gonna take it and we're gonna wrap the wood up. Although we don't need to wrap it this much. So maybe we should cut it to size, what do you think? Indeed. All right, well we're gonna measure this fleece out and cut it real quick then. This All right, so the the, uh, the next step of what we're doing here is we've got the size cut, we've got the board about ready and about in position, and we're going to take an edge, and we're gonna do some adhesive on it, and we're gonna lay it over, and we're gonna staple it down with a stapler. And then once it's all tight and good, we're gonna go to the other side and pull the rest of it tight, and then bring it up, and it should be tight and everything good on the other side. And then we'll go through and rinse and repeat with these sides. And we should be about ready for that final layer.
All right, guys, so that is the board in a nutshell. A um, couple of things that I wanted to note. Uh, obviously, we've got some wrinkles here, as you can see. They're not too bad, but uh, you should probably iron them out before you staple. Um, also, make sure you have uh, some proper scissors. Um, you know, the right tools for the job. We didn't quite have those, but I think we still did okay, honestly. Uh, the back is a little, a little janky looking, but you're not gonna see the back ever. So, um, if I was doing this again, I'd make sure I had the right scissors and iron this out. I might cut the fabric a bit longer than I did um, and just really just go crazy um, rather than, I was being very scientific about the back and inches and measuring, and really I think I should have just cut it and just on the back, but. Whatever, no big deal. Um, but this is the uh, this is the finished product, so it's really not too bad. Um, it'll definitely do the job. All right, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching our video of how to make a little green screen slash felt board thing. Uh, like I said, pretty easy stuff. If you watch this, you probably just watched it because of this pretty face right here. Not so much the how to, but if you did need this for a how to, now you know how to do it. All right. So uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel, Quest Accepted, and uh, comment below what your favorite type of penguin is. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Uh, make sure you share with your family, and make sure you check out our other, other videos, our other videos, so I can speak properly. Anyways, guys, again, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your family and friends, and we'll catch you next time on another Quest Accepted. That's DIY stuff. Late at night. By myself. <laughs>